Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This week's film is dedicated to the Parker's Arms. It's a public house that's been closed now for a couple of years and it's located on the Preston Road heading towards Chorley. It first opened its doors in 1822 when public houses were public houses meant for public gatherings as in inquests, court cases and investigations. I want to talk about the three um, inquests that were carried out in the Parker's Arms in the 1800s. The first one was on 1862, on the 9th of July, when a young lad, Francis Rook, f fell or drowned in one of the local lodges. The local coroner, Mr. Miles Myers, came out, carried out the investigation, carried out the inquest at the Parker's Arms, and the result was death by drowning by, by accident. In 1866, there were two punters in the bar, one called Thomas Shorrock, a 62-year-old bloke, and another bloke called Mr. Haworth. Both of them started a verbal altercation, which ended up to them sort of grabbing each other, falling to the floor. They were separated by the, by the locals. One sat at one end and the other one sat at the other end of the bar. However, 20 minutes later, Thomas Sherrick, who was smoking his pipe at the time, leant back and collapsed on the floor and died. Once again, the coroner was called to do the investigation, Dr. Miles Myers. He cut out the, the, the autopsy of Thomas Sherrock and confirmed that he didn't die of any physical altercation as there's no marks or damage to the body whatsoever. He actually died from what they call mental excitement and muscle extraction. Don't know what that means, but it don't sound pretty clever. It sounds like a heart attack to me. However, after Mr. Mars examined the body, he found water on the brain of Mr. Thomas Sharrock and put it down to the two injuries of muscular exertion and mental excitement. In 1867, which is the worst one, was a young girl of six or f seven. Her name was Dorothy Jenkinson. She went out to play like all kids do and she fell into a cesspool. Once again, the coroner's called out, Miles Myers, an investigation of the incident and the location of the death. They found that the cesspool had been covered with algae and moist and was green in colour. So he put it down to the young girl, thought this was of a piece of earth because she had earth found in her shoes on the autopsy and put it down to accidental death by drowning. What a very sad story. <laughs> Thank you.